Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about what is transfer learning and how can you actually use a transfer learning technique for image classification. So let's get started and jump on the tutorial. So when you are dealing with transfer learning, so one question is coming on in mind that is what is transfer learning? So transfer learning is a machine learning technique where a model trained on one class is repurposed on a second related task. That means this model is already trained on some kind of classes. And in this case, we are going to actually use the BZ16. So there are so many pretend models is available on Carol's BZ16, BZ19, Rust, and 15. Okay. So now let's have a look the architecture of the BZ16. So this is the architecture of the BZ16. So now you can see here, this is actually take the input size of the images is nothing but two to four cross two to four cross three. So three is nothing but the RGB images. And this is nothing but called the featured extraction part. It actually extract the feature from the images. Maybe it will actually dealing with the EDH, maybe dealing with the pixel value, sometime like that. And this is nothing but the classification part. Okay. It actually classify the images that it actually images for dog or the cat or tennis ball like that. So now you can see here one cross one cross 1000. That means this model is trained on 1000 unique classes. That means it will actually using the white as the image net. And you know, image net is one kind of competition. They hire actually a developer actually training the model, this kind of images. And this uh, BZ16 and the image net is actually trained on million millions of images. Okay. And now you can see here in the last, you can see a visual representation of the BZ16. So first it will actually take the two, uh, uh, two, uh, two convolution layer and the one pulling and the again two pulling, three pulling, three pulling and three pulling and three dance layer and the output. Okay. So how you naturally uh, see the summary of the BZ16 naturally look like that. So this is the nothing but the summary of the BZ16, how you actually do the coding. Then you can actually get the summary from here. So model type is BZ16. You can also use BZ19, rest and 15 like that. So it will take the input size and also you can see here on the dance layer, you can see here 1000. That's when it actually trained on the 1000 classes. And you can see here the visual representation of the BZ16. So it is actually easy to actually use that. So how are you actually dealing with custom images? You can also using this BZ16 to actually get the feature extraction part. And you can also using the SBM render forest or something else to actually classify your images. So now let's have a look at the documentation of the carols and see how it how can you do that and how can actually use this uh, this busy section for the image classifications so this is the official carols web page you can see here some available model you can see exceptions busy 16 busy 19 rest at 15. so this is the busy 16 part you can also read the documentation from here okay and the coach okay so if i go back you can see here some models file you can see here mobile net model b2 dance net so so many actually uh pretend model is available on carol so you're actually using this model to actually classify the images and also you can see here size of the models so bz16 size is nothing but uh 528 mb when you actually running this code for first time it actually uh download this model here okay you can also use the uh this one uh, what it's called mobile net and also use uh, inception b3 and you can also use the uh what do you call rest net 50 it's also work fine okay and you can see here the top one accuracy and the top five accuracy and the parameters and the depth all the things you can also read the documentations so and this is the official github repository of the keras applications so if i click here on the keras applications so you can see here all the model here so if i click here on the busy 16.py file so this is nothing but one kind of cnn model so you can see here one kind of CNN model on the first block, it will take 64, 64, 128, 128. This is nothing but called a feature extraction part. Okay. So this is a block four and this is a block five. And, and uh, finally, uh, there are three, uh, three dance layer. And you can also load the documentation from here. So now it's time to actually jump on the code and try to see that how can you actually use these Keras applications and how can you actually use this BZ16 to actually classify the images. Okay, so let's get started and jump on the code. So all right guys, so now you can see here I get a folder called transfer learning and inside this folder you can see here five picture, cat, dog, tennis ball and the traffic lights. So these are the testing images we are going to test that, that our model actually correctly predict that or not. So in this case, you're actually using the BZ16. You can also use BZ19, ResNet15, 
something else. So when you click here to type here CMD. So in this case, I'm not actually going to use the Visual Studio code. I'm going to use the Jupyter Notebook. So let's say Jupyter, sorry, Jupyter Notebook. Enter. So it will open this Jupyter Notebook on your default browser. So in my case is a uh, Google Chrome. So I'm going to click here to create new Python file. Okay. So now you can see on title, you can also change the name of the notebook. So let's say transfer, transfer learning. Okay. I click here to read them. Okay. So now you're going to actually use in a busy 16 from the CAS application. So for that, you need to import the TensorFlow. You know, TensorFlow uh, is a library to actually help us to do the image classification tax and CAS is nothing but the backend of the TensorFlow. So let's say TensorFlow as TF. And also from TensorFlow, TensorFlow, I'm going to import Keras. What do you call Keras? Sorry, Keras. So it is loading this TensorFlow on your Jupyter Notebook. Okay. So it is loaded. So now what you have to do when you need to actually load the model. This model is nothing but B16 model. So you're going to import this model from our Keras application. So for that, from Keras.applications. So now you can see it's not actually auto completed uh, as we do in our Visual Studio code. So it will actually auto completed. Just uh, it actually auto suggest you if you type here tab from the keyboard and you can see here it will suggest me the uh, models. So you can see here all the models, RASNet, NASNet, MyNet B2 and also, okay. So you can see here BZ16, I'm going to click here to enter. Okay. And I'm going to import. So you need to import which one? BZ16. Enter. Okay. So it will actually load it here. So now what you have to do, you need to initialize the BZZ16. So model equal to BZZ16. So how you actually do this first time, it will actually download some files from the internet. So in this case, I actually download these files uh, before. Make sure that how you actually run this code first time. So make sure that you are connected on the internet. Otherwise, it will give you error. So now it's time to actually show the model summary. So let's say model dot summary. I think it will hope sense to you. Okay. So now you can see here, it will take the images with two to four, two to four, that's mean white and the height of the uh, 224 and 224 and channel is nothing but three. Okay. And if I go down, so now you can see here the dance layer, that's mean this is the predictions layer, it will actually 1000. That's mean this model is actually, uh, uh, what do you call, the trained on the 1000 unique classes. Okay. So inside this class, it can be uh, million, millions of images. It actually using the image net to actually train the model before. Okay. So now what you have to do, you need to actually load the images from our, uh, the directory. So you can see here some picture, cat and cat one, dog, tennis ball and the traffic. First, we are going to check this cat one. So far, we need to actually uh, load the images. So for loading the images, we basically use the CB2 library. So you can also use that. So open CB, that's in CB2, import the CB2. So I'm going to actually give another shell here, external shell. Import CB2. So now what you have to do, you need to actually load the image from here. So image equal to CB2.im rich. Inside this, you need to put here the path of the images. So path is nothing but cast.jpg. So this is the images and our image is loaded. Now what you have to do, you need to actually resize the images by 224, 224, 224, this one. So now what you have to do, you need to actually resize the images. So let's say cb2.resize and inside this you need to put here the image, that's mean this image one. And inside this you need to put here one tuple, that's mean white and the height of the images. So 224 and 224, okay and put into variable, let's say image also, enter. So our image is resizes. So if I going to uh, try to see the shape of the images, so now you can see here, the shape of the images is nothing but two to four, two to four, and the number of channels is three. That's mean it is a RGB image, okay. So now what you have to do, we need to actually convert this image on NumPy array. Why? Because you know, we actually, how are actually dealing with the CNN model? We need to actually, uh, convert this uh, model into the NumPy array. So for that, we need to actually import the NumPy. So import NumPy, sorry, NumPy as NP. Okay. So now we need to actually import, uh, we actually need to convert this image into NumPy array. So let's say NP dot array. And inside this, you need to put here the path. That's mean the path is nothing but our images. Okay. And let's say image again, again. Okay, no problem. 
so if i try to sh uh, print the shape of the images now shape so now you can see our shape is okay that's when it actually converted this image so if i try to print it image so now you can see here this is the image is containing some values okay some values 0 to 255 okay this is the numpy array so now what you have to do you need to actually reshape the images reshape the numpy array in this format let's say and and the white of the images and the height of the images and the number of channels that's when you can say channels so this is the reshaping part we need to do how you actually uh, train one cnn model so in this case we need to also do that okay so now what you have to do let's say uh, make one comment let's say reshape reshape okay this one maybe and it actually do that okay so you can actually mark down here let's say mark down okay that's fine okay so reshape is this kind of way so now what you have to do you need to actually use the reshape here so image dot reshape so which one so we have one images so n is nothing but the number of images so we have the one images and the white is nothing but two to four two to four and the number of channel we have three okay so again that's the images so it did reshape the images so if i try to see the images so now you can see here it's also be numpy array so again see the shape of the images so now you can see here this is the number of images the number of uh, white sorry white and the height and the channels okay this is the reshaping process now now what you have to do we need to actually pre-process the data that's mean why in the bgc 16 i mean bgc 19 or something else it trained it will actually do some pre-processing so now we need to actually pre-process the data now so for that we're going to actually import the process input from the carols so from carols i think it will hope sense to you so applications apply oh sorry applications dot bgg 16 i'm going to import which one import you can see here decode predictions and the process import so this one process import that's the intellectual process the import uh, respectively for the bz 16 okay so now what you have to do you need to actually call this one this one process input and inside that you need to put here the image so nothing but this one image so let's say this one image okay so now our image is processing done so now you can actually uh, call the model and try to predict the classes so let's say model predict and inside that we to put here the images so it's actually easy to actually do that so let's say this one let's say result okay so if i try to print the result okay so now you can see here this is nothing but one kind of error with some threshold value so now what you have to do you need to actually print the uh actual value from here that's been what the classes they are nothing but one thousand threshold value so now you need to actually get the maximum value from here okay this one results so now what you have to do you need to actually uh, get the result and we need to decode the result and get the top five or the top one result from here i think it will help sense to you okay how you actually do the coding then you can actually understand so from carols dot applications applications okay and dot bgg 16 we're going to actually import the decode so this one decode predictions okay so now we need to decode the predictions which one uh, decode prediction of the results okay so now what you have to do we need to actually call this decode predictions uh, this one so it will actually help us to decode the predictions of let's say predictions so this is nothing but the results so let's say results and you're going to see the top five results so let's say top five results meaning that's mean maximum results that's mean that based on the threshold below okay because they uh, there are 1000 1000 unique classes so it will actually give us the five top classes the maximum one that's our model actually try to pay that okay so now let's say let's say uh, put in a variable called prep let's say class okay so we try to print the prep class so you can see here this is called tabby this one's called egyptian cat and this is tiger cat and the linux uh, linux maybe and there's a patrician cat okay so if i try to show the zero positions it also same okay pretty classes and we calls also iter to the value so if i draw copy this out control c and paste it on here and see what is the tabby okay images okay this is nothing but the tabby cat maybe <laughs> i'm not sure 
okay okay if i try to open this one yeah this is nothing but the cat like that tab b and right now so if i try to load one of my images another images so let's say uh, choose this one what is called the tennis ball okay let's let's use this one let's say tennis let's say tennis ball i think hope sense okay yeah, tennis ball and shift enter shift enter shift enter and okay sorry this one some problem here okay this one image height uh cv2 dot resizing uh -huh. i think this is not tennis ball okay so this is single oh, sorry for that so if i'm bad okay enter 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 yep right now you can see your tennis ball the prediction is nothing but 48 percent that is it is tennis ball Control c and copy and c tennis ball maybe this one tennis ball so okay fine and see the tennis ball yeah this one tennis ball that's been our model actually work fine we can actually uh iterate to all the value from here so let's say for i in prediction value and we can also print it out here so let's say print the i yeah that's all the same okay so this one tennis ball and also let's check it out for the dock that's mean this one dock images maybe. yeah this one yeah dock <laughs> okay so let's let's use that got it okay so let's dock jot jap easy this one let's see this is gonna work fine or not so dock okay see this one is maybe chichuwara copy this and see what is the chichuwara let's see this is one kind of dock name yeah this is one kind of dock name actually this uh transfer landing model is actually trained on this is 72 percent accurate it actually trained on um 1000 unit classes and million millions of images so that's why uh, there is uh, other things okay so now you can see here we actually load the model load the images using the cb2 okay so now what you have to do we can also use the carols uh, initial load images to actually load the images so let's see how can you actually do that i think it will hope sense to you this is the basic thing that you actually do so you can also use the keras to do all the things in a single lines see so how can you actually load the images using keras so from keras okay from keras dot preprocessing preprocessing dot image we're going to import the load image we can actually do that so using this load image we can also load the images so as you can see here we load the images using open cd so you can also load the images using this caras module okay load images so just what you have to do you need to actually load the images so you can see here we are actually resizing the images okay for the next line but we can actually giving the size of the load images just mean the size of the images so let's say put the path so let's say cat dot let's say jpg and the target size so let's say target and the size and target size is nothing but 224 comma 224 okay and let's put in the variable called image so now you can see here it's also load the images okay so if i try to see the shape of the images so it will be same okay i think this is not okay maybe this one okay it's not a shape here okay our image is loaded enter so now you can see here this is the load the images okay uh, it's not actually like that the uh, what you call i actually using the cb2 it actually it should see the shape of the images but in this case when you actually load the images using the uh, keras dot images it actually load the full images okay so now what you have to do you need to load import this uh what you call sorry sorry for that we need to actually convert this uh, image into numpy array so we can also use one keras uh, library from here so from keras dot dot image you can also use the image to array okay this one image to array okay so now what you have to do you need to actually call this image to array this one image to array inside this you need to put here the images one and if i try to share see the uh, see the image and try to see the shape of the images now you can see here the shape of the images is actually converted on the 224 cross 224 cross 3 
okay that's mean this target size it actually help us to actually resize the images in the single line some code but if i go up so you can see see here how you actually load the images using the open cv we need to do some things or you need to import the cv2 we need to read the images we need to scale the images then we can actually convert this image so now what you have to do need to reshape that so we are actually using the numpy to actually reshape the images so this is called np.expand dimensions so for that you need to actually put here np.expand tab okay you can see here it will suggest me expand dimensions and inside this you need to put here the path of the images and inside this you need to put x is equal to zero that's in, in the axis number zero you don't need to expand the dimensions so image enter so we try to see the shape of the images so now you can see here it actually converted this like that if i go up so now you can see here this is like that okay reshaping so reshaping is done so this time is done so you can actually process the input same this one process the input and here past process the input inside that you need to put here the images images these images and again so let's say image okay process the input okay and if i try to see the image this is one kind of error okay so now what you have to do you need to actually predict that so model dot predict inside this you need to put here the image okay this is one kind of array okay so let's put in the variable called prediction that's in flat and if i try to see the flat this is one array and now what you have to do you need to decode that okay like that decode so for decoding this you need to actually copy this out and to see and i'm going to actually pass it on here okay and inside this decode uh, predictions you need to actually uh, put here the predictions one the spread one and let's say the result that's a result value and if i try to print the result value so now you can see here this is called tabby called tabby and this is nothing but 60 percent correct that is a tabby cat so if i go out you can see here this is the cat images so if i try to that's the traffic i think i am correct okay that's what traffic and let's say load the images so i think this one enter 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 yep you can see here traffic light that's we need to show that traffic light is 0 0.99 that's been 90 percent sure that this is a traffic light okay so now so how can i actually see that the there are how many classes it actually belong to this bg16 that's the image net so we can also use this decode predictions and create one expand dimension for the random one so inside this you need to put here the expand that's me np dot expand dimensions this means this dimension and it actually uh, creates some random value of the 1000 uh, random values so for that you actually use the np dot arrange and inside this you need to put here the 1000 classes and also the zero and you can see here uh high in the decoder predictions you can actually see the top five it will see the top five how you actually put here the top equal to one and it will just show me the top one that's in traffic light okay so this is how can you actually do that so we have uh, top 1000 classes so that's 1000 classes so this is how we can actually do that i think they'll get some error uh numpy uh okay i think we do one error here so arrange maybe arrange arrange sorry i think my bad this one arrange okay so now you can see here all the classes is actually imported here first one maybe toilet tissue and also you can see there all the classes it actually belong to here i think there should be traffic light. yep you can see a traffic light is also belong here that's why it actually predicted that and if i go down go down, go down there is so many classes first class maybe tens and the hen the cock okay uh, robin j and some kind of classes it actually tried to print that there's there there's nothing but 1000 classes to actually uh, train on these models so now the question is how can actually building one custom model that's been not a custom model how can actually uh, classify the custom images so using this bz16 so in the next upcoming tutorial you are going to see that how can actually use the bz16 to actually uh, classify the custom types of images so this is the tutorial hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update thank you and bye bye